Hello, everybody. Let's talk a little bit about lateral canthotomy, because this is a very, very important uh, procedure that we all need to know how to do, especially if we're working uh, in a more remote uh, setting. I'll just share the screen with you now. So lateral canthotomy. This is a case we had a little while ago, but it's an important case. Uh, so let's have a look. So a 35-year-old woman presents with a recent eye operation and she comes into a rural ED. She's got an increasing headache, left eye pain, proptosis of the eye, uh, restricted extraocular movements, there's decreased visual acuity, afferent pupillary defect, and when we test for pressure in the eyes, the pressure in the affected eye is just over 40 millimetres. So this is, a, this is an amazing um, eye examination. And when we do a CT, we actually realize she's got a hematoma. So she's got a hematoma post of operation, increasing the pressure. Now, this is what's called orbital compartment syndrome. And because the orbital compartment is a fixed space, what happens is this pressure, just like in compartment syndrome of the leg, it will cause ischemia of the optic nerve and of the retina. So we have to decrease that pressure very soon. We talk to the tertiary hospital. They say, go ahead with a lateral canthotomy. So <laughs> it's interesting ever since then, when we've done a few of these, I've, I've put this video up um, on uh, resus.com.au and, and I think I've got it up on the YouTube channel. It's interesting that, that people, as they're approaching the patient, might be looking at how to perform a lateral canthotomy. And it's quite unnerving for the poor patient. But what are the indications for this? So a retrobulbar bleed, she had that. Decreased visual acuity, check. Afferent pupillary defect. So remember what the afferent pupillary defect is, is that if you shine the light in the eye, the pupil dilates uh, rather than constricting. And she's got proptosis, yes, and increased interocular pressure. Check, 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 check. She needs this. So pressure was 40. And we've got about two hours before we start getting irreversible visual loss. And so that's why when you've got a patient with acute glaucoma, for other reasons, when you've got these increased pressures, you've got to get them down quickly. So contraindications, though, to lateral canthotomy are uh, if you're going to, if there's a potential globe rupture, if there's been some trauma or something, so an irregular pupil or a hyphema or um, an ophthalmos, a conjunctival tear, she's got none of those things. So the procedure is we really need to tell the patient what has to be done here because, you know, they, they have to give you consent and we have to give them some sedation, but we don't put them to sleep for this totally. Uh, our patient, in fact, only got one milligram of midazolam quite surprisingly, and it just totally relaxed her to the point where she knew exactly what we were doing uh, but um, and could answer questions, and you'll see the video in a minute. It's an aseptic technique, cling the area around the eye. Then what we do is we inject uh, some lignocaine with some adrenaline to the lateral canthus, uh, being very careful not to damage the globe. And then we devascularize the lateral canthus. What that means is we put a set of forceps in and just crush it. And that devascularizes, so it's not going to bleed everywhere. Then we clamp the tissues for about 15 to 30 seconds with the clamp, let it go. We make an incision of the lateral canthus, uh, staying away from the globe. And then the aim is to cut the canthal tendons. And so these run superiorly and inferiorly, and they twang like a guitar string when you go through them. You'll, you'll see what happens in a second. And that releases the pressure. So let's have a look at the uh, actual apart. procedure. Yeah. So that you're sure you're saying the. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'll pull the bottom. Oh, you got it, right? Yeah. So into the skin, lateral canthus. So putting yeah, the that's it. That's enough, local yeah. in, infiltrate. A bit of pressure, no, I can't. Okay. And you can go a little bit inferior as well. Out of that, and a little bit, yeah, not too much. A bit more. Right, so again, open the eye. So just give it a minute. Yeah, let, let the anaesthetic work a little bit. Let me pull this down for you. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay, and pull it up. You're going to have to 
I think we should be able to get it now. So devascularize the tissues by clamping. Hold it like that. Uh, release there. Uh -huh. Everything's going really well. Uh -huh. So watch the globe. And you're going to go. So in my resident was doing this. He wanted to be an ophthalmologist. So he was very excited about this. A little bit less. Pull out a bit. That's it there. Okay. That's it. Stop. A little bit less. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. And go into that lateral panthers. Beware of the globe. So close them. Close them. Yeah. And just go in. Yeah, can, can you feel the ligaments? Yeah. Okay. So you just snip those two ligaments. Feel them again. You can close the scissors and feel them where your ligaments are. Good. Snip those. Good. That's it. That's one yes. gone. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and feel for the other. So superior them, and inferior canthal ligaments have to be cut, so you can feel it with the scissors closed first. That's it. Can you feel it? Yeah. Watch the eye. Watch. Yeah. I got it? I think so. I think you have. All right. Yeah. That's it. That's a lateral canthotomy. Well done. So that's the lateral canthotomy. Um, and after this, of course, you measure the blood pressures again. So lateral canthotomy, uh, be able to do the procedure. It's a very simple procedure and you can watch this video again. And there's many others that have videos on the internet, but the whole idea is anesthetize, you, you, you clamp the tissues, you cut and you feel for the anterior and the inferior uh, canthal ligaments and they feel like guitar strings and you can just cut those releases the pressure and after this we measured her pressure and her pressures were uh, right down so thank you very much